All right, Shalom, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call Halal Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. And as always, double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. All right, Bahashem, Bakaha Kwadash, which is the Holy Spirit that inspires us. All right, peace and salutation to the 12 tribes who are scattered amongst the four corners of the earth who have been quickened and awakened through the Holy Spirit and um, are coming back to their true biblical heritage, all right? And also a peace and salutations to the a confusion of faces and also the sincere uh, women, wherever you may be. All right, um, we're battling to be a part of that first dominion. We're battling to be sealed from the plagues that are coming to this earth. And our forefathers spoke vividly and clear about the times that were coming. And I'm doing this video based upon a particular vision that I've had. Now, I'm not one to have a lot of dreams and visions, all right? And when I do have them, I forget them. You know, I, I'm not able to remember them. You know, I've seen a few chariots here and there. I don't, you know, see, you know, a lot of brothers get to see those things, you know, in abundance. You know, a lot of brothers don't. Some brothers get a lot of visions. Some brothers don't, all right? Um, but uh, this particular vision, this particular feeling you know sent some real real quivers through my, my my body and it uh actually led me to tears just being honest um you know when you look at israel and what i mean by israel is you so-called negroes latinos native americans and when you look at those who of of out of those who know that they're israelites all right one thing you notice is that there is not a fear of the Lord being pushed. All right. The fear of the Lord is not being pushed. It's not being uh, taught. And it's just this pretty much proud vibration that's going out. Now, I'm going to start here in Hosea, the fourth chapter, and then I'll get into the vision because the vision was a horrible vision, man. And whew, for for a guy like Nathaniel Seven and the rest of these these guys who are so called leaders, not to tell Israel that hard times are coming. All right, and to push Israel to pray, to enter in at that straight gate, and pray for the Lord to put the Spirit on them to endure. It's just beyond me. It, it's proof that these guys are Judas goats who are set up to lead you to the to the slaughter, man. All right. No matter what you think about us, no matter what you you feel about us, me personally or whoever, apostles, elders, we have been warning you of the time to come, and it's not going to be pretty, man. That's why Ezra's, which we'll get. He said, woe is me who shall deliver me from that day. And that's basically the feeling that I got when I was seeing all of these atrocities that are going to befall Israel, man. Whew. All right. So we're going to start here at Hosea, the fourth chapter in the first verse. It says, hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. All right? And the Lord is speaking to you Israelites. Okay? He's telling you to hear this word. Okay? And Hosea witnessed and prophesied some terrible times <laughs> that came to Israel, man. 
all right? The northern kingdom to be exact, okay? It says, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break, they break out and blood touches blood, all right? So the Lord is not pleased with the energy and vibration that Israel is under, man. All right, you have those who don't know that they're Israelites who are just running around calling themselves black, you know, being into nigger culture, calling themselves Mexicans, all, you know, kissing a woman's ass, bound to these different idols, and all of the rest of the tribes, man. You know, uh, Haitian, Jamaican, they, they're all into all sorts of madness, man. But when you look at those who know that they're Israelites, you see the same thing. No fear of the Lord. No one's talking about what the Lord's going to do. No one's talking about the times. No one's talking about how we are in the worst case scenario. They're pushing, your leaders are pushing to you that there's hope within this system, man, for you. Okay? There's no hope within this system, man. And a lot of blood is going to be shed in these coming days, man. All right? So hear the word of the Lord, ye children of The Lord has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, okay? Micah 6 and 2, hear ye, O mountains, the Lord's controversy, and ye strong foundations of the earth, for the Lord hath a controversy with his people, and he will plead with Israel, Okay? Micah 7 and 2, the good man is perished out of the earth, and there is none upright among men. All lie in wait for blood. They hunt every man his brother with a net. And that's the culture that's being pushed. That's the energy that's being pushed. You have these guys with these different YouTube channels. And what are they doing with it, man? They're seeking to devour the prophets, the men that are standing firm. All right. They don't they don't uh, 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 do videos on Esau. And because of that, man, they're going to get caught up in what's going to be the worst time that this world has ever seen. That Israel has ever seen. OK. As Proverbs one and seven says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. OK. OK. The fear of the Lord is very, very important. And that's one thing that Israel is just not into. Everybody's into their own emotions, their own opinions, how they feel, getting their lick back, avenging themselves, and doing everything outside of prophesying and telling the people what these, these scriptures are talking about, man. Without strife and vainglory. Because if they do speak on the Bible, they do it out of strife and vainglory, man. But Israel's going to learn the fear of the Lord here in these coming days. Now, one of the brothers from the uh, GMS Cleveland Judgment Shall Come camp, he sent me this scripture, and I want to read it because it, it, it really goes into how I felt when I saw this vision. Okay, so this is 2 Kings 8, and this is dealing with Elisha in 12, all right? Um, Hazael, which was the second command of, um, of that empire, came to him, you know, to seek, in, to seek counsel, all right, and to ask him some questions, but here's what... Uh, Elisha said, and I just want to bring this out. Let's see. Uh, I start at 11. And he settled his countenance steadfastly until he was ashamed, and the man of, and the man of God wept. The man of God is Elisha, all right? It says, And Haziel said, Why weepeth, my Lord? And he answered, Because I know it the evil that thou will do unto the children of Israel. All right, so he's weeping because he's seen a vision and he understood what was coming up on the children of Israel. All right, 
and said, Their strongholds will thou set on fire, and their young men will I slay with the sword, and I will and will dash their children and rip up their women with child. Okay? This is this is the this is what Elisha is telling him, this is what you're gonna do to the Israelites. <laughs> you see? And it was it was fulfilled when you read here in Second Kings ten and thirty two. In those days the Lord began to cut Israel short, and Hazael smote them and all the coasts of Israel. You know, so but Elisha he saw a vision. He knew what Hazael was gonna do. And it says, Their strongholds will thou set on fire, and their young men will thou slay with the sword. And will dash their children and rip up their women with child. Okay. Now this is coming back, man. In the vision, one of the main things that I saw was a lot of children being destroyed. All right, being 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 put to death. You see. And, and their parents screaming and crying. I'm talking about at the top of their lungs. You know, children being, you know, doors being kicked in. Children being snatched out and put to death, raped in front of the parents. Houses being burned down. Jake's being burned alive in front of their families. Then their families being eaten, shot up starved to death okay this is the vision man this is the vision that I saw so the brother the water for giving me that scripture because it explains perfectly sort of what I saw you know and you know we understand as prophets and as men of the Lord that these things are going to come but to actually see it and, and feel it is a whole different ball game, man. All right. So let's get second address. All right. The 16th chapter. OK. Now, we understand that these things are going to befall the wicked. All right. But to see that with my, well, in, in the vision and to feel that did something to my spirit man that's why we have to pray for the Lord to give us the strength to endure when all of these things but be be come onto the world and keep us grounded and not to get too caught up into our feelings not to get too caught up in, in our emotions look <laughs> we can't out love him we don't love Israel more than him but these are the things that he's, he's going to have coming man a lot of you men, you're going to be tortured, man. And you're going to see your families tortured. You Israelites who are playing games with this word, man. Scoffing and doing all of this wickedness. Popping up on the videos. Just, 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 just no fear, man. Doing videos, not ex exalting your how about you, how shy, but your own belly. These things are coming unto you, man. OK, I'm talking about your toes being cut off one by one torture rooms where you're going to you, 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 you're going to be tied up watching your own child, your own wife being being just tortured and raped. Whew. Your neighborhoods are going to be cut off. And set on fire. You're not going to be able to, to get out of the city. You're going to be starved to death. These are the things that I saw. These are the things that's coming to this earth, man. And we're not exempt from that judgment befalling us. Why ain't Israel fearing the Lord right now, man? With all of these prophecies coming to pass, everything is, is just being made clear 
in Israel is just 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 having a gay old time, man. Being niggas, being sellouts. The women are just ravenous wolves. And you niggas think you're just going to get away and, and skate into the kingdom of heaven, man? People just 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 coming and putting great millstone on their, on their names. No, they don't want to be in order. You just watch, man. But for you brothers who are in the spirit, man, get serious about what, what you're a part of, man. I mean, you know, we, we talk about the day of the Lord and, and we understand. But but when da when Daniel said. Matter of fact, let me get that. When Daniel said <laughs> that this time here is going to be the, 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 the worst time ever. He meant it, man. <laughs> he meant that. All right. Hold up. Internet's tripping. Let me get I get it here. Whew. This is Daniel chapter 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as was since there was a nation even unto that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. When Daniel is saying this, you have to think about all of the times that we've been through as a nation. All right. You read about them. You, you research them. The siege. You know, you, you, I mean, all, all of the different times. You, you, we just read about one with Haziel. Okay. I mean, uh, with, with, with Christopher Columbus and his... His his them those thugs did to you know the so-called Native Americans and the so-called Latin tribes, the Northern Kingdom. What happened to our people getting thrown off of slave ships, being brought over here, you know, uh, being force fed, defecating on one another, children being raped in front of those. The, the time that's coming here to the planet Earth is going to be worse than that. And we don't know if we, we, we're going to be exempt. We don't know if we're going to be covered. Plagues are coming to Egypt again. If we don't have that blood on our doorposts, we are finished, brothers. All right. So let's get. Second Ezra's. All right. Because during this vision. There were. Big black things coming out of the sky, all right, and falling, but I continue to dodge them. I continue to dodge these 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 big black objects, and I don't really fully remember the, remember the vision, but I'm just giving you the little pieces that I have. You know, the, the streets were just filled, just Jake, just was getting destroyed, and you know the particular. Martial law troops, they'll see me, but then they'll go focus on something else. But these big black objects just kept falling from the sky. Then I ended up in my backyard back in Oakland. <laughs> I hopped the gate. But I continued. I kept escaping these big black objects. I don't know exactly what they represented, but... <laughs> they, 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 were, they were coming and they were coming fast. But I, I kept dodging them. I was never hit by one of them. But they were. They, they, it came close. And as the scriptures say, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Meaning, the way that the Lord is going to deliver us is that He's going to try us and try us and try us, then deliver us out of the particular situation, all the way up into salvation. That's what I took from that. Like you're going to find yourself in some very, very deep in deep waters, but the Lord is going to constantly, you know, uh, 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 find a way to get you out of it. He's going to find a way to feed you. You know, at particular, at particular points, we're going to be comforted, but overall, we're going to be like, what the, you know, it was like, whoa, like Ezra, when he saw it, that's what we're going to get. The second Ezra, all right, chapter 16 
man. Let's see where we can start at. Start at 11. Second edge was 16 and 11. It says, The Lord shall threaten it. And who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? All right. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof. The sea riseth up with waves from the deep. All right, that's another thing. People were being flooded and drowned in particular parts of the world. Israelites. Okay. It says, And the waves of it are troubled. And the fishes thereof also, all right, before the Lord and before the glory of his power. And this is the same vision that Habakkuk saw, which we'll get that, all right? It says, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, which is Yahawashai, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world. And we know that those arrows are nuclear missiles, man. You know, which now is in Israel speaking on the nuclear missiles is is is, is you, you basically committing you you that's blasphemy now. When we understand as men of the Lord, Armageddon is gonna happen, man. Okay, now it's gonna be all sorts of plagues and yes, the volcanoes, yes, all sorts of things are gonna be happening, but nuclear missiles are a part of the end game, man. It said, Behold, the plagues, verse 14 in 2nd Edges 16, Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. <laughs> Let's see. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer return it not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent on the earth shall not return again. All right. It says, woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in those days? This is Ezra speaking, man. And during that vision, that's one thing I felt. It's just like a very, very, it was a very, very like, it was scary, man. It brought tears to my eyes, man. So here it is. Esdras is saying, woe is me, woe is me. Who, who will deliver me in those days when he sees the vision? But you got Israelite teachers telling Israel that they're going to be all right, man. That nothing's going to happen. and They're just going to get beamed up after a wedding. You know, have an Israelite wedding, you know, eat some lamb, and then we get beamed up. Ezra said, the beginning of sorrows, all right, which Yahawashai quoted this, in great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, all right, and the power shall stand in fear, the beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? So sorrow, great mornings, famine and death. War, all of these things are coming to the planet Earth, man. This is prophecy. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. <laughs> but for all of these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mindful of the scourges. And that's what you see happening, man. Behold, victuals, victuals shall be so, so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow up on the earth, swore famine and great confusion. And our people really believe that they're okay, man. They have this, this mind frame and this, this attitude that pretty much they can just do whatever the hell they want to do, man. Like you had this guy come on the video. I just did this video, you know, complaining and, and, and talking shit. I just did this video so Israel could see who I am. Me. But what about you? How about Shimei was shy, man? Got your little job. 
You're able to get you, 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 now you don't have to go to McDonald's. You can go to Chick-fil-A now, right? So you good. Life is good. I got it, you know. But nobody's talking about what's coming into the earth, man. You Israelites, you're going to learn the fear of the Lord, man. Straight up. And I'm going to end it here in Habakkuk, man. You know, because like I said, I don't remember a lot of the, the vision. But it, it was a very, it, it was scary. And it brought tears to my eyes. And it's like my spirit has been, ha, has not been at ease since I saw that, man. Since that vision came, you know. Since that vision came. It's sort of been, my spirit has just been like, whoo, you know? <laughs> Verse 22 and 2nd Edges 16, for many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger, the sword shall destroy and the dead shall be cast out as dung and there shall no man comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted and the city shall be cast down. You see that? People are just going to be dying. I saw people, just mothers screaming and crying. Jake just being taken. Cut to pieces in the streets. Esau just, just, just you know, these, these different troops just playing game, having war games, just shooting up your cribs. Jake was trying to shoot back, but the, the they had on particular suits that it, you the, the 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 bullets just it, it wouldn't penetrate them. And nothing Jake did in that day worked. Do a video in that day, nigga. <laughs> Do a video in that day. <laughs> this is Habakkuk. All right. I'll start at three and 12. It says, thou didst march through the land in indignation. Read that whole chapter. It's real good. Thou didst thrust the heathen in anger. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even for the salvation of thine anointed. All right. When thou, when thou woundest the head out of the house of the wicked, Amalek, by discovering the foundation unto the neck, Selah, thou didst strike through with staves the head of his villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was to devour the poor secretly. And that's this new world order, man. And they go get a lot of Jakes, man. A lot of Jakes are gonna. A lot of you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you're gonna be. You're gonna die some horrible deaths. But it ain't gonna just be death. You're gonna. You're gonna see some horrible things befall your your the things you love and the people that you love, man. All right, because you didn't fear the Lord. So He's gonna give you over. To the worst of the wicked, man. Okay? And all of these different troops that are going to be over here. That's another thing. It was a lot of Moabite troops. A lot of Russian troops. You had just different troops. And they didn't give two shits about what they did to you, man. Or your children. In, in fact, they, 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 it was a sport unto them to destroy your children. And, to, and rape your wives and all of that. This is prophecy, man. Isaiah 13 says the, the 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 matter of fact, let's get that real quick in Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13. Yeah, this is real, man. Alright, Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Okay? And their wives 
ravished. Zechariah 14 and 2, For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle, and the city shall be taken, and the houses rifled, and the women ravished. And half of the city shall go forth into captivity, and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. All right. It's back to Habakkuk. All right. <laughs> Habakkuk 3 and 15. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses. All right. Through the heap of great waters. All right. And what are those horses? He's speaking of the chariot, the chariots of salvation, man. Okay which he spoke of earlier in the chapter. Okay? Read that for yourself. Verse 16, When I heard, my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered into my bones. And that's what I felt, man. Now, I didn't see everything that Ezra saw, I mean, uh, 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 Habakkuk saw, you know, because he saw the, you know, the waters being raised up. He saw all sorts of things, the mountains trembling, you know, people being, he saw everything, man. But I, st I understand when he, when, when he just, let's read it again. Habakkuk 3 and 16. When I heard my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice, rottenness entered into my bones and I trembled in myself that I might rest in a day of trouble. So here it is, Habakkuk, a man of the Lord. He's even fearful. He's like, oh, shit. But you got Israelites that are just playing games, man. That I might rest in a day of trouble when he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Okay. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. All right. <laughs> The labor of the olive shall fail. The field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold. And there shall be no herd in the stalls, man. Everything's going to be completely ruined. It ain't going to be business as usual. Okay? You ain't going to be able to go to the store and get a, 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 a veggie. Yeah, I'll take the veggie wrap. Yeah, with the you know, get the sour cream and the onion lace. <laughs> nah, man. You ain't going to have an apartment. All you're going to have is if the Lord is dealing with you or if he ain't dealing with you, man. So though all of these things are going to happen and he's he's trembling, the conclusion he came to was, yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like hinds feet he will make me to walk up on high places to the chief singer on my string instruments all right so this is like a song by habakkuk but yeah the vision was crazy it was all over the place you know my mind is always all over the place but one thing i remember is how i felt seeing it all was it was a very very uneasy feeling man and it just makes me pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for even more strength, man. Because we ain't got it, man. We ain't got a lot of brothers, a lot of people in Israel think that they got it and think that they're granted a seat. You don't know, man. And the fear of the Lord is very, very low in Israel, man. The fear of a higher power for, for what you're doing and your actions is very, very low, man. So let's make sure, all right, that we're fearing the Lord. Man, this vision, I wish that I remembered everything, but, hey, you know, it is what it is. But I just continued escaping these big black things, you know, you know, and, and then I'll, you know, they'll stop for a minute and I'll look around and see just Jake just catching hell. I mean, like, it, I mean, hell is just unimaginable. I'm talking about being burnt alive. You know, people ripping their skin, heathens ripping their skin off of their body and eating it, eating your children in front of you, raping your children. I mean, it's just like, whoa. <laughs> you 
you know. And then, then, then the big black things would just start falling again. I'm just escaping and running, and you know, like I said, I ended up in my childhood backyard, you know, running. You know, it was crazy. And then, you know, it pretty much ended, you know, with like a great explosion, you know. And you know, Lord willing, we we're, we're on the right. We're in we're in good graces with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and and found worthy. And we're chosen from the foundation of the earth so that these plagues don't touch us, man. And that we don't have to see, you know, our children uh, go through these things, man. But, you know, if it does happen, hey, we still got to keep going. You know, because, hey, your children have their story and you have your story. Who knows what the Lord has planned, you know? Who knows who that spirit is that came back? Who knows, man? We don't know. You know, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. All right? Some crazy times coming, man. It's only going to get worse. You see rebellion against the Heavenly Father is just at an all-time high. And, no, and, and, and Israel is just kicking back. And we're the biggest problem. But that's all right, man. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the elect. Shalom.